Welcome back to another Mad Human Pizza video. In this video, we are removing the passenger airbag. So, I am up underneath underneath the dash, in the passenger side, and look at this. There's fasteners right here. There's two there, and there's two there. You take the glove box out, take the glove box out, and a whole bunch of, just the glove box. And then, what you have here is, here's the top of the airbag passenger and then below you have all these fasteners hooked to this big old metal rod that runs all the way the length of your um, dashboard so let's take these two four take these four fasteners out and then I believe you'll be able to just push that right out and this rubber here will just pop right out just like so might need some uh, convincing, but let's let's take some of this fasteners off, and now we'll be right back at you. Okay, 12 millimeter, and apologize for the, well, I don't apologize, but for the shakiness, I can't really have a uh, tripod, not the one I have underneath here, underneath the dashboard, so take all these fasteners off. Really tough. There we go. It's already starting to loosen, and eventually I'm going to set this airbag off. Just connect it up to the battery to a, a spare 12 volt car battery and set it off. I already set off one airbag. It was really cool. In my airbag and starter video, but uh, this video, this uh, vehicle is a Mazda Mazda 626 1998. All right, don't want to hit the camera here, so. Tough bolt. There we go. And getting that, getting that fastener off. And let's go have to look at a vertical. Alright, so we have one more to go. Okay, I got that last fastener off. And now it's time to start pushing and prying. And oh my goodness. Get this airbag out of here so it should be a matter of convincing I don't want to do that let's just push on the back of it push up oh my goodness all right okay I use a really flat a really fine flathead screwdriver and you got to lift these tabs up out of their sockets. There's whatever here too. Eee. Anyway, you got to convince this airbag to come out. Use a very flat screwdriver so you don't mar and scratch up the uh, the finish. There you go. And so what we have here is an airbag there's the top of it for looks this is the part that it'll hit you right in the face or right in the stomach or right in the chest or right in the chin this big old plastic piece and then you get hit by the bag and then it'll deflate within mill within milliseconds so make sure before you do any of this you disconnect the battery and you wait i'd wait a few days but wait a couple about 20 minutes or an hour or two hours and as you can see, there's some electrical wires that are still wanting to stay on here. So what I do is go underneath and find out where they're connected to. Here they are. And we follow the rabbit hole. It's a yellow wire. Pull on a little bit, see where it's com it comes from. And it comes from below the blower unit, which um, let me take it off. Oh my goodness. There's a blower unit just fell down. But uh down here. Here is the connection for the airbag. And let's just look at it. Alright, I broke it off there. And it's gonna look like something like this. And just take it out. Come on. Disconnect it. 
Okay, okay, push down on this tab and pull it out. And then now you can realize there's another electrical connection, which is right here. And it's stuck to the wall. I mean, it unstuck to the wall. And it needs to be released. Find the release tabs on it, which seem to be all over the place. Ooh, look at that, that's cool. Alright, so we're gonna push that down and pull it out. At least try to. Alright, I'll be right back at you. Alright, I use the help of a friendly flathead screwdriver and just push down on this and then put it underneath, get the flathead screw underneath there and pull this out. So now we should have all the electric connections out of there, which they want to be all stuck behind here. Yes. Unbelievable. They're all trying to be caught up. Oh wait. You gotta pull the tabs out. Look at these little little tab things that are stuck in there. Once you get those all pulled out, then you'll be able to there's another one. Okay, I just really had to worry about that yellow cord. There it is. Oh my goodness, so here's the airbag. And all its glory, the pasture airbag. I took the seat out to make it easier. But uh, as you can see, there's a couple more electrical connections to take off. And so, take that apart. And here you go. One passenger airbag. Oh my goodness. That's how you remove it. Installation is reversal removal. So you connect that back up and you you just place it back in there. And I guess I could show you how to do it. And I mean it's reversal of removal. Oh man. Alright, so to install it. Put it back in there. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Let's get hold before I do that. Let's check out the back of this. Cool. Look at those cool characters. What a cool language. Alright. So you place it in like a connection. Use the camera to put that back in to push the uh, connection back in. And put that right back in there. No. Uh, and then look around to see people watching you if they are or not because it's fun to watch have people watch you okay a little bit much much better install this connect your connection back up oh man S snap you hear that snap? All right. I'm gonna pretend here because I'm gonna take that back off. But you snap it back on, and then you you put this back in. You go underneath. You plug everything back up, and then you get your fasteners. There's four fasteners we took off. They look like this. They look like this. They got a. Uh, a washer on it. There we go. They have a washer on it. Whatever, they're gold. There's four of them. Get underneath there. Get your your uh, 12 millimeter socket and just get them back on there. Tighten them up and then put your. Uh, I didn't show it. I, not, I didn't show removing it, but take your uh, your glove box. Put it back up in there fasten all the fasteners back down and you will be good to go disconnect connect your battery back up and then you will be good to go this has been another mad human pizza video
Welcome back to another Mad Human Pizza video. Remove the dash, uh, not the dash, but the uh, glove box. Remove the glove box and then a cover underneath. And that'll give you access to, to this part right there. I have a screwdriver on it right now. That part right there. 502752-1310. 12 volt it says. So take that little fastener off where the screwdriver's on. And then the one above it, take that off. Take this electric connection off. And from there, take that out. And then from there, take this fastener off. We'll take this fasteners off, and I will be right back at you. Okay, got this faster. Okay, took the fasteners off and pulled that thing out of there, and it has it was attached to uh, some mechanism. So there it is, Zekiel, Zekiel, Zexel, Zexel, Z E X E L. There's electric connection. There's the numbers, and there's the back of it. That's how you remove that, and to install it is reversal of removal. So. Um, it's gonna be a little shaky here because I took it off the tripod, but anyway, it's the only way to really There you go, let me zoom back out. All right to install it. That's how you remove it and to install this beast oh, Let me arm rest a little bit Okay, I'm back. Okay now put it back at the way it was and This little part right here We'll go back into this little mechanism. It goes, see this mechanism goes up and down. So you're going to want to connect it back up. There's a little hole back there. That's where that goes back in. So get that back in its proper place back there. And then move it up. And once you have it in position, put the fasteners in. And after you do that, put the connect electric connection back on. And then you will be good to go. So this has been another Mad Human Pizza video. Have a great and wonderful, wonderful day.